Hello ladies and gentlemen, it has been a while since I have made a video, but last night on my live stream people requested that uh, I do how to get the vengeance set and what you need to start getting the vengeance set and I talked to Legion and he basically gave me the rundown is um, you need your full soul scream set, a uh, charm with good uh, melee will help. This one has melee and magic fine, luckily for me. And you need a destiny. Um, if you get really lucky, you can use a fate, which is the legendary version of it. This is the only one we got, so it's the one I'll be uh, going to use. I'll use both of them to kind of compare damage and see how long it takes uh, for it to uh, die, I'm gonna sit on um, a stopwatch on my phone to see how long it takes between killing a basic uh, beacon boss with destiny to um, fate. Of course, this is a estimate depending on how many times fate rolls the damage multiplier. Uh, so to start it off, of course, you need your full soul scream set with a decent charm. You can roll magic find and and melee into it because you will not be getting hit or anything. You'll just be sitting up on here and shooting down uh, the bosses. Now this is a very slow process when you get start first but we're working towards the vengeance sense and if we can get the gloves you'll do more damage to the bosses so this is what legion has set up here the teleporter the respawn point and a little pedestal so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna summon our first boss and then as soon as i start doing damage i will hit the button for it to start counting and then we'll see if it's taking too long i will you know do what I do and edit out the oh that's right this is a different so you need a beacon for this first so let me go grab a beacon all right guys uh, I got the beacon down let's summon our first firestorm so this is what we're gonna be doing any elemental fire firestorm ones you don't want to do the ones the fire balls at you which will be just fire they will not have the storm name because they, you can still get it from them. They're just more deadly and more trouble than they're worth. So we're going to make this thing a boss. You don't have to use, you can use any souls other than nightmare souls because you can only use them at nighttime. So we're going to go up there. And we're gonna be using we're gonna be using fate first. Okay, so he's nice and well positioned. I'm gonna hit the start right now and we'll see how long it takes. Now if you're at an ultimate tier, you can tank these. But as um, I am not, I am beta tier. It will take me some time. But this is basically how it is. It's slow and steady. And make sure you have your magic uh, find potions ready. Just for extra, you know, magic find on there. Helps out a lot. Okay, we're almost halfway there. Oh, yay. So, this is how you get your Eye of the Storm and the Vengeance through the elemental uh, bosses. Uh, beacon bosses, I will do beacon bosses at first until you get a set. Um, you know, primitive set, primitive Stormbringer is okay. Um, but until you get it, you're gonna have to do this. This is the best way, the safest way. 
Once you get all dad, you'll be able to do higher end bosses and do more damage to them and bypass their elemental resistance. So we're at almost two minutes now. Magic find now. There you go. Unfortunate, no, no uh, drop, but that's okay. This is this is the setup uh, most uh, players use for it. Now, that was 3 minutes and 10 seconds about. So, this is probably going to be a lot more because we don't have the the ran the multiplier the triggering all crit to grant temporary immortality double and triple multipliers. So we're going to summon it and we're going to use this one. Oh, I had a big sneeze there. So we're going to take out uh, Destiny. I am going to reset the timer, hit start, and we're going to get started on it. Now this is, looks like it's going to take a while, so I am going to just kind of skip ahead to when I'm about to kill it and start recording again. Alrighty guys, uh, it's just about dead. I figured I'll take about 11 minutes and 5 seconds with that particular damage of Destiny for 9k. I just did it until um, it was halfway and I just added the time together. I'm using the Legendary just to finish it off quickly. It is a huge difference. And unfortunately, we did not get anything. But this is how you farm it. Uh, you can probably use, if you have a, a legendary spear, uh, fate, you can probably go up to maybe beta, maybe a little higher, maybe alpha. You can test it out and see how much time you want to spend on doing it. But if you do not have any dinos, and of course, while you're off, well, you're not writing your magic percent is higher, so you're most likely to get it. If you have a unique charm, the lucky unique charm, it is definitely better to wear that one instead of the one I have. It just depends what you have, your availability. Uh, if you have high boost uh, magic gear and you want to put it on right before you uh, kill it, that's a good idea as well. But yep, so I hope you guys enjoyed my video. This is how Legion grinded our vengeance sets out. Uh, he is the expert as no team I have said before. Uh, if you guys have any questions, put them down below in the comments. Uh, if you want me to uh, figure out something else that you want to do or you want to know about, let me know. 
and I'll research it and I'll put out a video for you. If you like my content, please consider subscribing and liking the video. If you don't, let me know below. If you would like my content even more than you already do, go ahead and hit that bell button. And I'll let you know when I go live on streaming. I do stream a lot. Uh, once or twice a day I try just to uh, start that going. I prefer live action than scripted stuff like this. Uh, but this kind of stays for a long time and it's easy to find. So I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you next time.